Hey guys, I'm Wench Fairy, and this is Proteus. Um, Proteus is a kind of chill, explore the environment and see what cool things happen kind of game. Um, we're playing this today because I wanted to talk about some things and I needed something cool for the background. So, this is what's going to happen. I've never played this game before, but I have watched other people play it, so I'm kind of familiar with what to quote unquote do. They're geese or something? What's that music? There's the sun. Let's let's just go this way. I should have unplugged my mouse. I have a convertible mouse that can be wired or wireless, and it is currently wired because I'm silly and didn't unplug. Where I want to go? Can I go to them? Why am I going so sideways? Oh, am I rotated all the way around? I'm facing this way. Maybe. <laughs> maybe this wasn't the best choice to talk about random things. Because as you can see, I'm kind of... All over the place. Let's try the arrow keys. No. That's where I want to be. We're fine. Everything's fine. It's all fine. We're fine. Let's check out these little honky things. Hi. Oh. Sorry. I'm sitting down. They're very cute. I like them a lot. I also want to check out these brown things. Okay, well the reason, like I said, the reason we were playing Proteus today is because I wanted something I could play and not worried about dying or failing at. Because I had a couple things I wanted to talk about. Whoa. The first is, what game is next? Last week was The Wolf Among Us and it ended Satisfyingly slash not very satisfyingly at all, depending on what parts of the ending you're talking about. Won't spoil it for anybody who hasn't gotten there yet. And I have no idea what to replace it with. I've been kind of toying with a couple ideas and I... What are these blue things? Oh, I guess there's other flowers. And I wanted to talk about the videos I'm... Videos I'm deciding to make. Mm -hmm. No, the game choices I'm trying to decide. The games... Oh, I can't word. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's 7.30 p.m. and I've been awake since 4.50 this morning because I had to go to retail job today. So I'm sorry if I stumble over things a little. I wanted to go over the list of games that I have interest in making videos for and open the floor up for any suggestions if anybody has anything in particular they'd like to see. Um, do these do something? No. Did something else happen? Oh, it's the frog. Hello. Hello. Why did you face- Oh, there's a pink one too! I want the pink one instead! Come, on. Come back! I made you a muffin! Ah. Okay, so while we chase this little pink frog thingy- Oh, now it's orange! Um, here are some of the games that I am interested in doing. I purchased, oh, it's gone. I purchased Long Live the Queen in the humble, I think it was a weekly bundle, female protagonist a while back for the express purpose of doing a video series on it. Uh, Long Live the Queen, for people who haven't heard of it, is a game in the princess maker genre. If anybody other than me remembers the princess maker games back from a long time ago, it's that kind of thing where you're you play a girl and your parents have died and you're all of a sudden the queen of this country and you have to... It's, it's kind of like a visual novel, choose your own adventure type dating sim type thing all mashed into one. You have to both be raised as a princess slash queen so you have to do all of the, the etiquette classes and balls and that kind of thing. And you also have to make decisions about sending your country to war and which suitors to choose 
and all that kind of stuff. So it's it's an anime art style game, and it looks really neat. I haven't done a series on it sooner because the recording software I use would not record the game. It only recorded the top right quarter of the screen and nothing I could do would sort it out. But now I have a hardware capture device. Hopefully that'll work out a little better. To be fair, I haven't actually tested it. So I don't know for a fact whether that would make a difference or not. Let's go up this mountain. Um, another option I have is the game The Longest Journey. It is a old time, old time, <laughs> back in my day, we played point click adventure games on punch cards. No, it's a not super recent, we'll say it that way, point and click adventure game, but it has a sequel called Dreamfall, which I also have, and now the third, second sequel, what do you even call that? The last game in the trilogy? We'll say the last game in the trilogy. I don't know if it's supposed to be last. Dreamfall Chapters just come out on Steam. And I love point and click adventure games. I've played a bunch. Oh, we're going that way. I've played a bunch of the beginning of The Longest Journey. And I have, would love to play more. I'm going to play it on my own. Whether or not we make a series together out of it. But let me know if you're interested in that. It's about a girl and like a cool, almost steampunky version of modern day and she gets involved in some crazy fantasy plots what, the, what is whoa whoa everything whoa the time is going so fast am i in a fairy ring oh my god are we in a fairy ring let's sit down this is so cool oh we are there's we're in the standing stones but if I get out of the standing stones, things will stop happening so fast. Out of the- I can't get out of the standing stones. I can't get out of this circle of fireflies. Um, go? How about this way? See, I'm getting like blown around. Is it because the wind is really strong? Like... Um, so, so far, Long of the Queen, Longest Journey. I have notes, so I keep referring back to the notes when I get distracted. Oh, let's go in there, let's go in there! What just happened? I don't know, but it's pretty. All right, we're back. It's a thing that's happening. Okay, oh, let's go look at those. So, Long of the Queen, Longest Journey. Another option is a, another point-and-click adventure game called Jazz Punk, which I also believe I bought in a bundle. I'm in this terrible habit of buying the Humble Bundles for like one game. Like right now in the Humble Indie Bundle, the Halloween themed one is Betrayer and it's like $20 on Steam. But if you pay more than the average, which right now is like $5, you get Betrayer. And Betrayer is the only game I want in the bundle, but it's only... It's, it makes financial sense to buy it that way. I'm just starting to reach game acquisition beyond life expectancy, so I'm trying to hold off and be good, but I can't guarantee that's going to last much longer. These look like orange jellyfish. They're probably crabs. Did they, nothing happen when I run through them? No. Okay, that's fine. And bees. Ooh. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. Go away, 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 go away. So apparently you can make bees swarm you in this game. Okay, Jazz Punk. It's another kind of investigative e game where everybody's like these crazy 2D sprites and it has a lot of like self like self referential video game, like in joke humor. I watched a nerd cubed video on it and instantly fell in love and when it came up in the bundle I bought it right away. So there's that if we want to do like a comedy game. Um, the other, other option I say as if it's a singular option. The other option I'm kind of toying with a sprawling RPG epic um, a la a Bioware game 
Baldur's Gate, Icewind Dale, Dragon Age, Mass Effect, or a Bethesda game, Morrowind, Oblivion, Skyrim, uh, Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas. I even have Fallout 1 and Fallout 2 when they were giving them away free on GOG before their license expired. Haha. <laughs> The, my only concern there is that's a huge investment of time, and so I can't guarantee. Like it would be, this would be the Wednesday video. We're talking about specifically videos that will come out on Wednesdays. I, if we did a huge game like that, I can't guarantee it would be every Wednesday. There would still be a video every Wednesday. What is that? There would still be a video every Wednesday, but it wouldn't necessarily be the same game every week. I like to batch record things, so I would probably play a whole bunch, record as many episodes as possible, then I'd have to take some time off. Because that's... When I commit to a big game series like that, I don't want to get game fatigue and have to cancel halfway through. I completely understand why people do that, and I want to avoid that happening to me if at all possible, because I'm a little... Fickle is not the right word, but I think it's probably the best one. I have like gaming ADD. Ooh, let's play this game. Now, ooh, let's play this game. Now, ooh, let's play this game. How about this game? How about this game? So, yeah. I, I'm willing to commit to a long game, especially like the first Dragon Age or the first Mass Effect because they're a little more directed. But it wouldn't be every single week. What is happening? The sun is on fire. I guess that's self-evident, but the sun is on fire. I gotta remember to take some screenshots. Let's take a screenshot right now. There we are. Um, also, I haven't entirely ruled out or committed myself to the idea of Wednesday videos being a series. I can also just do a bunch of one-off videos. They're like this one. They're kind of fun in that every time I get to play a new game, get to see something cool. But I'm I'm more drawn to the narrative aspects of a long-running series. Mind you, we currently have three other series going on. Book of Unwritten Tales, Dishonored, and Deadly Premonition. Which will, at least, Book of Unwritten Tales will take us into the next millennium, probably. It is, from what I understand, a very long game. Plus, I want to do the prequel DLC and uh, the next game, which has just been early accessed, Brook of Unwritten Tales 2. Dishonored is not a super long game, so I don't expect that to go too, too long. Deadly Premonition, I have no idea. Absolutely no idea. We're just playing it, having a good time. I'm super stoked because it's Twin Peaks references and Twin Peaks is coming back in 2016, so woo! <laughs> um, so that's the the wednesday video question feel free to comment below message me on twitter at wenchfairy games or on tumblr at wenchfairy.tumblr.com slash ask if you have any opinions either way um the other thing is in well today's the third so in 15 short days just over two weeks the holy grail of video games for me comes out dragon age inquisition and oh my god there's a house Let's go to the house. So I am getting Dragon Age Inquisition. I've pre-ordered the Ridiculous Inquisitor Edition because that's the kind of fan I am for the PS4. But now with this capture device, I can record console games. So I was wondering if anybody would be interested in some Dragon Age Inquisition videos. I'm not, probably not going to do a whole playthrough. Although I guess that's not entirely out of the question. I will be playing it anyway. But I have a tendency to squeal and embarrass myself a lot in Dragon Age games, especially, especially if Alistair is in it. Let's be honest here, I love Alistair. When I played the first Dragon Age, I played a, an Elven Warden. I made the mistake of playing an Elven Warden, and then I found out if you romanced Alistair, which obviously I did, you could not become queen. You could, you had to play human to become queen. When I found that out, I had to put the game down and walk away. I didn't play it again for like six months because I had no idea what I was going to do. I needed to be with Alistair and I needed him to be with me. So I had to look up spoilers so I could engineer the ending I wanted. This is the kind of girl I am, people. <laughs> um, so if people are interested in some 
Dragon Age games, or Dragon Age game, right? Bleh. Some Dragon Age Inquisition videos that may or may not tell a complete story. Uh, I will be playing that game anyway, as, along with The Longest Journey and probably everything else I've talked about. So, I have no skin off my nose if you want me to record or not. I mostly do this babbling to myself anyway while I play video games, so I might as well be recording it. Um, I mentioned the capture device. I'm super stoked to be able to record console games. Like, I have a 360, a PS3, and a PS4. I'm also waiting for the inevitable software update, hopefully inevitable software update, for my PlayStation TV that will remove the, or they have the option to remove the HDCP copyright, copyright protection like the PS4 did. And then I'll be able to record PS Vita games as well without having to spend a billion dollars on a new modded PS4, uh, PS Vita. Let's follow over here. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention is that Telltale Games, the people who did the Wonderful Wolf Among Us that we just finished, are doing a Game of Thrones game the first episode of which will, they like, say, definitely be out by the end of the year. That video will be on this channel. No matter what else we're doing at the time, if I have to add another video a week, say make it a Sunday video or a Thursday video or something like that, we will be playing the Telltale Games Game of Thrones. I love Game of Thrones. I, when I say that and I'm like a season and a half behind the TV show, Oh, let's go see what that birdie thing is. But I've read all the books. Um, my major Skyrim character is named Daenerys Targaryen. I love, 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 love Game of Thrones and dragons and fantasy and the Starks and the Targaryens. Are these people? What is happening here? I'm suddenly so afraid. gonna hurt me I can't walk through you what what well let's stand in the middle of them and see what happens oh my god this is creepy as shit But I want to go. Okay, no, out of that. No, thank you. No, thank you. That was enough for me. I didn't like that at all. What? What, what was that? So yes, Telltale's Game of Thrones game is a definite go. That is a thing that is happening. Um, I'm still kind of toying with the idea of their Walking Dead game, just because I love the storytelling they're capable of and the game format, not because I love zombies. I own it already, however, for the PS Vita. So I'm kind of holding out to see if they'll remove the HDCP copyright thing so I can just play it on the Vita and I'll record it there. That's fine. Um, yeah, this is actually super pretty. I didn't realize such a wide variety of things happened here. What's the bling bling? Oh, is it? Let's follow this white frog for now. I feel like it's making those chiming noises. Yeah, it totally is. This is okay. So to talk about this game for a minute, there's not a whole lot of controls. You have Wasad, mouse to look around, space to sit, and Q to toggle like auto run, which I'm not really into. But that's kind of it. What is what is what is that? What is what is that? Is it a scary thing? Is it gonna hurt me? Oh, where'd my pretty white frog go? Okay. Focus! Focus, Emily! Focus! Oh, it's getting daylight out. I wonder if it'll disappear. There is a button, like an in-game, like, postcard button. I don't remember what it was. I remember what it was on the joypad, but I'm playing with the keyboard, so I don't know. 
Also, if anybody's in the market for a capture device, the Avermedia Game Capture HD2 is a pretty solid piece of equipment. It does not record your commentary audio separate from your game audio, but that's okay because I'm using Audacity anyway, so that's fine. It does not, ah, here's something else I want to talk about. It does not support 60 frames a second video recording. YouTube now has 60 frames a second video support. You will not be seeing videos from me in 60 frames a second for a while, I don't think. I tried recording Dishonored at 60 frames a second, my old way, the software way with DX Tori. Unplayable frame rate. I just, you just, nope, I just can't. It's just not a thing. My computer's decent, but not beefy enough to record 60 frames a second video. I would have to get a device like the Avermedia I'm using right now that supports 60 frames a second. And as I just bought this, I will not be upgrading anytime soon. Uh, what else? I like these remind me of Zaniba's little paper flowers in Spirited Away. That is Spirited Away, right? Yes, okay. Sometimes I get my Ghibli movies conflated. My other half, the boy, is like the world's biggest Studio Ghibli fan. I, he loves everything. We just pre-ordered Kiki and Mononoke are finally coming out. Princess Mononoke finally coming out on Blu-ray later this- Oh, uh, it's later this month. Oh my god. <laughs> just later this month. And Mononoke is his absolute favorite Ghibli movie of all time. Oh, we're in one of those spots again. Uh, my favorite Ghibli movie is Howl's Moving Castle, but it, I fall asleep every time we watch it. It's still my favorite, but I fall asleep every time. I don't know why. This is just... Oh. It's fall! Oh... Did those just all die? Are you dead? Oh my god, I think they're dead. I think we killed them. Changing the seasons made the terrible little paper birds die. I'm so sorry, little paper birds. We'll fling ourselves into the ocean. Wah! Actually, I just wanted to see if there was another island wandering around out here. But actually, that was all I really wanted to talk about today. Um, what game do you want to see next? What games do you want to see next? Um, as always, there's a link in the description below to where you can get this game on Steam. And if you want to take a look at my Steam library, again, my Steam ID is Wenchfairy, like I Wenchfairy everywhere else. And you can, if there's anything there that jumps out at you, let me know. I'm heavy on the RPGs and the point and click adventure games in my Steam library. So just bear that in mind when you take a look. Um, the only things I really don't play are first person shooters. However, the boy just bought Half-Life and Half-Life 2 and I've never played them and I kind of feel like I should just because I am play video games in this day and age and I've never played Half-Life. I've never played Portal either, but that's not out of a desire to like, out of a conscious decision to avoid it as it is a conscious decision not to get motion sick. I watched a friend of mine play it when it was new and it made me really ill. I just can't handle this. There's too much of the perspective shifting and then up and down and rah, rah, rah. I'm sure I've mentioned before that I have no depth perception. So I can't tell how far away things are. So it does not, no. This, the portal thing just makes me very ill. Let's get up to the top of this mountain and yeah, so any opinions, questions, comments, you know where to find me. Comments below. YouTube.com slash Wenchfairy is where we are. Uh, Twitter.com slash Wenchfairy Games or Wenchfairy.tumblr.com slash ask. You can also add me on Instagram if you like seeing ridiculous selfies and pictures of my dog. Why not? <laughs> and the Facebook page, of course, Wenchfairy Games. I thank you very much for watching and have yourself a great day.